అలాగా మై స్టీ థౌసన్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ వన్ మై టీచింగ్ డివిడీస్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ అబౌట్ లాంచ్ యాంగిల్ వాట్ ఇస్ ఇ మెయిన్ ఇఫ్ యూ నో ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ వాట్ ఇ మెయిన్స్ దెన్ యూ డోంట్ నీడ్ టు లిసన్ టు దిస్ డివిడీ బట్ దెర్ ఆర్ at the last count more than 60 million golfers in the world and i know that many many of those 60 million people do not understand what the launch angle is is it important it might be irrelevant but i think whatever your handicap is whatever you score the launch angle of all of your clubs apart from the putt of course is pretty important the launch angle is the angle the golf ball leaves the ground at that's the launch angle is it important it is imagine this is a javelin and we want to throw it the furthest we can throw it not everybody else just just you just just me in this instance So do I want to throw it at that angle? Because if I do, it's going to go really high and come down really soon. Do I want to launch it or throw it at that angle? It will now go really low and come down really soon. So to get the javelin to go the furthest distance for me or for you, it needs to be launched at the right angle i think i'm not 100% certain but a launch angle for a javelin is about 29 degrees 30 degrees i could be wrong with this about that if we launch it at that angle it will now travel the maximum distance through the air before it lands you then get the longest possible throw so too high goes up too high comes down too soon too low it goes too low and comes down too soon we need to throw it at exactly the right angle to give maximum possible distance the same thing applies to hitting a golf ball Imagine you're in your garden and you're watering the lawn. And you've got a hose in your hand and the water's pouring out pretty quickly. Same thing as with throwing a javelin. Let's say you want to stay in one place and get the water to go further down the lawn. Would you hold the hose that way? So the water goes up and comes down or that way so it goes down and stays going down or would you experiment by lifting it until you got to exactly the right launch angle for the water to come out of the pipe to get you to get the water to the point you're aiming for same thing that's the launch angle of the water or the javelin with a golf cart want to launch the ball really high we don't try and do that we choose a club with the appropriate loft this one is a sandwich and that is the launch angle technically we go lower than that but for this exercise that's going to be the launch angle depending on the loft if i were to change the loft from 50 60 degrees down to my old one iron that's now about probably 14 16 degrees of loft so the ball goes lower so the own angle with golf clubs comes from the loft angle
But this is the important bit. Depending on your club speed and depending on the loft angle of your golf club, you can dramatically change the distance you hit the golf ball. Forget the number on the bottom, it's the angle that counts and your club head speed. Unless you swing the club head at more than maybe 95, 100 miles an hour, you do not want to use a club with the loft of a driver because the ball won't launch high enough. Try and find somebody who's got a track line or launch monitor and just say you want to know from them what is the best loft angle to match the speed of the club head for you to hit the ball the maximum distance through the air and for most golfers that will not be a driver it will not be a driver many many golfers will hit the ball further with a club with 20 degrees of loft the one with 10 degrees of loft the launch angle let's go back to the launch angle is the angle the ball leaves the face at too little loft for your swing speed the ball comes down too soon too much loft for your swing speed the ball goes too high i'm not going to bore you with all the phenomenally minute details of that all you need to know is what is the best loft angle and shaft length to give you the best maximum distance for driving off the tee with. The irons are less problematical. You need to have a club in your hand with the right loft angle and the right shaft length combined with your speed to give you the best launch angle. Once you've found the best club to give you the maximum distance, then you can work backwards to give you the shortest distance. But always start off with the longest distance. I hope this is making sense. It's designed to keep it as simple as possible. The launch angle, again, is the angle the ball takes off at. If it takes off too high, it comes down too soon. If it takes off too low, it will also come down too soon. So try and get onto a launch monitor or try it man and simply ask the person using the machine to let you try out various loft angles, various shaft lengths for your swing, nobody else's swing, it's your swing is the most important swing in the world. It really is. Golf's quite a selfish game. You need to think about your swing, not somebody else's swing. So after maybe half an hour, you will probably have the optimum loft angle, shaft length, to give you, you, nobody else, your maximum distance through the air. What you want in a golf shot, or especially off the tee, is the maximum distance through the air, not landing and rolling, maximum distance through the air where the ball pitches, where the ball lands. So that's launch angle. Quite simply, the angle the ball launches off the club face at. It doesn't matter what it is, it's irrelevant what it is, you need to find the best one for your particular golf swing. One lady came to see me a while ago and she had a man's driver, which was completely wrong. She had a slow swing and the driver had seven degrees of loft. And it was impossible. I, I couldn't use the club, no way and nor could she. She would have done far better to have maybe 20, even 25 degrees of loft with a shorter shaft to get the ball up in the air. Golf to me is hitting the ball through the air as far as you possibly can and that depends on you. So, that's the launch angle. Find the best one for you and I will guarantee if you do you'll hit the ball further through the air. But work on the longest distance first and then work back down to the shorter clubs. They're easier. Just get the right club to give you the maximum launch angle, maximum distance through the air. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.